it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts and today I'm going to do an unboxing video. This was my Christmas present this year. I'm so excited. Today's actually December 26th, 2016 and Santa has brought me the Scan and Cut 2 um, by Brother. It's the 3M 350. Um, yes, I have no idea about this machine. Uh, one of my viewers, Susie Q. Martin, told me about this and uh, she suggested it because I was looking at the Cricut machines, the Cricut Air um, and whatnot, and she suggested this one and I've watched some YouTube videos and it does look very cool. Um, I'm just going to do the unboxing right now and then I'm going to play with this a little bit and then do a how-to video on how to use it because I have no idea. I've never even seen the machine except for on YouTube. So you get a cutting mat with it. This is the standard mat. So you get that. And then there's some things inside here. I believe this is blades. Um, yeah, the other machines, you kind of go in the program and stuff. I don't know what these are. We'll figure that out. So you get two of these things, whatever those are. And um, I was watching, hang on, let me put this on the floor and then lift it up from the box. Um, I had been watching videos about the cricket and stuff and then she talked to me about this one and this one is just standalone um as far as i know you don't need the computer um to do this is really light um it's about the same size as the cricket expression but it's a lot lighter you got another little box here in the box let's see what this is so i waited all yesterday before taking it out because I wanted to do this unboxing and show you guys um, what it was like. Okay, so we got a power cord here. Um, yeah, I just wanted something simple that I can do with my own drawings. This is cool. It's like a little vinyl bag here. Ooh, tools. So we got a stylist. We got a flippy thing. This will hold the blade, I assume. Or maybe this holds the blade. This might hold these other things. Maybe these are markers. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then we've got instructions, which are going to need. We got a disc and a little reference book here. So maybe you do hook it up to the computer, but you don't need the computer to actually have it work. So this is, if we have any problems, we can contact brother. We've got a warranty stuff. We got the accessories that are included with it. And then we've got the added features and then the safety guide. So there we go. It's in lots of different languages. <laughs> I love how they do that. And then there's only one page of actual instructions. And we've got our power bar here. Um, Scott actually got this through Michael's. I got it online. Um, <laughs> Susie kept sending me emails and telling me about sales and stuff. So I believe he got it on sale. But this is cool. This is huge. Okay, hang on. Here's my iPhone 6. So there it is compared to there. So that is huge. And this will just come off. This is black with like kind of Topi gold flowers. Just kind of a static cling kind of thing going on. And then we've got this little guide here. This is a quick reference guide. Oh boy. <laughs> I got a lot of reading material for this afternoon, I think. Okay, we'll dig into that later. And then this is the machine. This will come down like this. This is all taped in like that. So I just have to undo all this. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to be able to take my drawings and cut them out. That's the hard part of the crafts that I do is um, when I do card in the box designs, when I was doing my Bermuda books when we lived back in Bermuda, it was... Um, just having to cut out all the little images that I draw because I draw mostly on the computer um, but you can even just take your own hand drawing and put it in the machine. This is very cool. This is all taped down as well. Fun. 
and then the screen will stand up like that. What I've learned with the, now I have no idea how to get back down. Oh, it's a whole, yeah, lift it. You can put it any angle you want and then lift it the whole way to lay it back down. Very cool. Take all the paper stuff off of here. Um, yeah, I just need help cutting because it kills my hands um, cutting everything out. So I literally just wanted something that would cut and that's um, what it's doing here because a lot of the stuff I do, um, I just use my own drawings and I mean this does come with, um, where's the box again? It does come with its own set of images. Um, Standalone, use built-in designs, 300 dpi built-in scanner for creating your own cut files, transfer cut file, files via scan and cut canvas, um, WLAN activated, activation required, card not included, two USB ports for direct connection and media, USB cable required, not included, um, that's to hook up to a PC. So yeah, I think basically what I'm going to be doing, oh here it is, um, 331 one point cutting patterns are included with it, 100 quilting designs and seven different fonts. But what I'm going to be using um, this for primarily is just scanning my work and cutting it back out. So um, yeah, I think this is going to be awesome, I'm very excited. and. Here's the back of the box here. So you can literally just draw something with a pen. Um, so scan in your hand-drawn images. You can scan clip art and you can use the built-in patterns that the machine has. Um, you can size stuff and then you just scan it and it runs the mat through and back out again. And then you run it back through in and it, um, it cuts it. So that's very cool. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, so give me <laughs> the next month and a half. To figure out how to work it but I just wanted to show you what it's like to unbox it and I will be back um, with a video which I'll probably just link or I'll probably just have it included right in this video and you'll watch it right now okay so I'm just gonna start so I was looking through this stuff here so this is product safety don't throw the thing in the bathtub this is just if you have problems call us this is register your item. This is the warranty for it. This is the disc with the operation manual on it. Um, then we've got a list of the accessories that are included with it. Um, then we've got added features. So it talks about you know how to set things up on your mat and how to line things up and everything. So that's gonna come in handy. Um, then we've got these instructions in different languages. We've got the quick setup guide, um, just kind of how to turn it on and to get it going and how to have it talk to your computer and have it work um, with Wi-Fi. And then we've got this, which is, what is this? Um, Online service, Scan and Cut Canvas is an online service that allows you to use web browser or to edit and create cutting or drawing pattern data for the Scan and Cut machine. Um, you can send download your projects uh, wirelessly from the Scan and Cut Canvas to your Scan and Cut machine. Um, and then we've got different languages again. And then we have the quick reference guide, which I'll probably keep this right with the machine. Um, but it just talks about the mats and what type of thing you're cutting, whether it's denim or felt or poster board or whatever, and then what type of mat um, you should be using for it. And then with your blade, what type of pressure and all that kind of stuff you're trying to do. So if you're doing a sticker, you want zero cut pressure and you want your blade set at four. So it's all that kind of stuff on there. And then this is um, installing the blade and to do a trial cut and all that kind of stuff. So I still have to read through that, but for now, I'm just gonna get the thing plugged in and show you what it's like when it turns on. So I've got my um, plugs down below my desk. So this is what the back of it looks like, like that. So this is where your mat's gonna come out, just like a cricket. And then we've got this. So it's like a two plug system thing, just like a sewing machine, sort of. So that just plugs in the back right there. That's it. 
And then this will plug into this part like that. Boom. And I'm just going to swivel it around and put this thing down below my desk and then I've got to crawl under my desk to get it plugged in. So let's turn it on. No idea how. There we go. Let's hit the power button and see what happens. Okay. Oh, look. Ooh, it says brother. I was going to tip it a little bit so you could still see it and I can see it. Oh, there's a butterfly. Ooh, it's flying off the thing. Hmm. Oh, and we're going to cut the butterfly. So it goes through this whole little thing and it's showing how you scan, you do your drawing, then you scan your drawing, then it's going to cut your drawing. This is so cool. Alright, so that's fun. Okay, so we've plugged it in. Hmm. Turn on the machine. Raise the lock, the holder lock lever. So let's open this thing up. And so we've got our stylus, so we need that for on the screen. And this is our blade thing. It's got a little protective cover on there. So the blade will come out at some point. Okay, where's my picture? Insert the holder into the carriage and push down on the holder lock lever. Okay, so we're gonna do one of these. Do we put that down? Oh. Oh, look at that. It just slid into place and this just goes up like that? I think so. Okay. So we're gonna go on here. We're gonna go into... Oh. The carriage and mat will move to the initial position. Keep your hands, etc. away from the cartridge. Oh. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. So you can use your finger or you can use a little stylus, which is probably the best idea. Is there a plastic cover on this? I don't think so. Okay. Ooh. All right. Let's just jump right in. It's so light. Okay. Let me just uh, get a piece of paper here. Okay. This is just my heavyweight cardstock that I use and I'd love to see how that works. So let me just draw. I'm going to, you know what? I'm just going to draw something in pen just to, um, have it cut. Okay, let me draw a cardinal because that's just what I do. There's my little cardinal like that. And it's just going to be like that. All right, so I want it to cut around his body like this. And Scott and Bryn are going to call me for breakfast in a minute. Bryn's making eggs benedict for Boxing Day today. Okay, so there's my picture. All right, so let me get my mat and open it up here. And we'll just see how easy this is. I hope there's nothing. Oh, that's like a ribbon. It's like a typewriter ribbon. All right, so we're gonna do this. Oh, there's a protective cover on it. Now, these are really thin compared to Cricut. They are sticky. And let's see, so which end goes in first? Purple? Or, you know, I'm gonna take it, oh. It has like a, it smells like a stationary store. It smells like Staples, <laughs> if you know what I mean by that. Okay, so let's, Okay, there's a little groove here that you sit your mat in. Oh, sorry. I went off screen. Sorry about that. All right. So let's just do scan. Oh, I don't know my blade depth. Okay, let me figure this out first. All right, where's my little chart? So printer paper, scrapbook paper thin, scrapbook paper medium thick, cardstock thin, hmm. I'm going to say this is thin cardstock. So standard mat, middle tack. All right. And let's see. So thin cardstock, blade setting should be at four, and cut pressure setting should be at zero. So I'm going to set this, set that to four. This just swivels, it doesn't click or anything. And then we're just going to do one of these here. Did I do that right? 
Okay, I'm gonna end up cutting through to the table, I think. So we're gonna hit scan, and I don't know what we wanna do. Direct cut, scan to cut data. I don't have any data, so, I could, so it's a direct cut. Cut scan various images directly based on their patterns. Cut materials to scan on the mat and set it to the machine. Press start and stop button to scan. Okay. Load the mat. Okay. I don't, oh, <laughs> I guess I gotta, so there's this little square here. Can you see that? Let me zoom you in a little bit. Can you see? All right, so there's this little square thing looks like a mat. Oh, jeez, here we go. Okay, all right then. Just make sure it's stuck down. Cut scan various images directly based on their patterns. Put materials to scan on the mat and set it to the machine. Press the start and stop button to scan. All right, so it's going out the back end there. So you need to have space just like a cricket. So it's gonna, ooh, here it comes. So it's come back in. And then it's gotta read this pattern that it just scanned. Oh, there it is, okay. So, I don't know how to zoom in to show you that yet. So, but it's there, you can see my little drawing there. And then, now what? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, okay, I don't know what this does. <laughs> What's this do? Ooh! Oh dear, okay. Hmm. That's nice. Okay, thanks for that. Um, let's try this. Ooh, okay to delete scanned data. Nope. So I just want to cancel that. Alright, I'm gonna say okay, and I don't know, can I zoom in or something? No. Hmm. So I'll just say okay. Maybe it's just saying, is that your scan? Oh, here we go. Okay. So I said okay. This looks like, oh, ignore the object size. So there it did an outline around my bird. Now let me zoom in so you know what I'm talking about. Hang on. This camera kills me every time. Okay. So ignore object size. Oh, but look. We can change the size of it, maybe? Even though we've scanned it at a certain size, is this gonna make it bigger? No, that did nothing. <laughs> oh, it made it darker. Okay, let's take it back. Oh, hang on. I think I was just making it darker. I have no idea. And here's, a zoom thing. Okay, so we can see there it is at 200% zoomed in just so we can see it. So let's exit back out of there, exit out of here. It says ignore object size. Let's just say okay. All right, now it's going to cut out this whole area. So we just want to zoom this in. Now I only know this from watching YouTube. So I just know that we take it in and we focus on this one little part of the paper like that. Ooh, processing. So we're gonna say okay, and then press the cut key or the draw key. So I don't wanna draw it, I wanna cut it. And then press the start and stop button. Oh, geez, okay, oh. Uh, sorry. It's grabbing it and it's cutting it. Oh. Did it cut? <laughs> it says it's finished cutting. It didn't cut anything. Okay, it traced around. Maybe there's no blade in it. Okay, let me just... Please stop. Is there a blade? Oh, maybe that locks it in. This... Yeah. Oh, that has to be pushed down. Okay, let's try this again. Alright. I'm just learning. I'm doing it this way to show you guys that you can just kind of easily figure it out. <laughs> Did it cut? No, let's just take a look at this little blade here. Why can't I see the blade? That just seems weird, because the cricket, you can kind of push on this and see the blade. 
Like, I have no idea if there's a... Oh, there it is. Oh, I see it now. Well, if there's no blade, that makes no sense, right? Okay, so we need a little bit of a blade. So let's set it at five, right? Does that make sense? Okay. And five would be medium to thick cardstock and the pressure. So I haven't set the pressure. So let's do cut again. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, I cut it. Okay. Oh, ho. <laughs> the mat's so sticky. Okay. Where's my spatula? All right. Just lift them up from the bottom here. Oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. <gasps> Look. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my God. Oh, this is fun. Okay, let me take, let me get a drawing. I need like one of my, ooh, the mat's very sticky. Okay, hang on. Let me grab something else. Um, I need something that has a drawing of mine on it. I'm going to put this in. It's just a little scrap of paper with a penguin and a couple hearts on it. So I'm going to stick that here. All right. So we're going to say, okay, and make sure it's stuck down good. <coughs> so now we're going to go back and back again. Well, let's try this. Let's go home. Okay to delete all patterns. Yes. Okay, so we want to scan and we want to direct cut scan. Cut scanned images directly based on their patterns. Okay, start and stop. Okay, so we're going to take this in. So it's going to run it through. So I'm going to be able to do a lot of things when I actually read the instructions, but this is mostly just showing you guys that you can just turn the thing on, <laughs> fiddle through with the blade. Um, Cause I just didn't have it turned properly, but that was really cool. And it did cut through the mat. It's just like a, cr a cricket. You can see where it did cut through a little bit. Oh, look. Okay. So here's my image. There we go. So there's our image like that. So let's go okay. And then we want to resize. So I'm just going to move this in like that. Now I wanted to recognize each of the individual images. Oh, it's processing. Okay. Let me just move here so you can see it a little bit better and zoom in. Sorry, I don't have a film crew, so it makes it a little tricky. Okay. So there's my stuff. It's got an outline around each individual image. Now what I want to do is leave my white outline. You know how when I draw stuff, I leave an outline. So maybe that's what this is. It shows, yep. Yeah. Outline distance. <clears throat> so, oh my God, this is the coolest thing. So 0 0.8, 0 0.12. Oh, that is so cool. Now it's got these extra little parts. It's somehow reading possibly a shadow on the thing. This is so cool. Okay. Let's just say, okay. So that's a 0 0.8 image. Now I want to zoom in and just see what that looks like around the item. It does leave a little bit of a white image. Oh my God. This is so fun. Oh, please. If this works, my life has now changed forever. There. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. That's so much better than when I hand cut things. Oh, this is so cool. Where's my spatula? This is so cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You have no idea what this has done for my life. Do you know how many Bermuda books I could have done? Oh, oh look at that. Okay. So 0 0.8 is a little too much. I'd like it a little bit less than that, but O M G. Oh God, let me find another one. Oh, 
Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Okay, the paper's really sticky. I can't get them up. Okay. Oh my god. Look at that. That is perfect. Look at that. <gasps> okay, now let me do the next test. I want to stick them on my black paper, which is something I always do. Let me get a scrap of black paper. Okay, so what it's doing is recognizing the black outline, and that's not what I want. So let's go back out. What if I bring it in so it's so close past the black paper it doesn't leave a frame? Let's see if that works. <laughs> no way. Oh my god, it did it. Now, this is a different thickness of paper, so maybe I should have made it a little bit deeper. But it did it. Look. Oh my god. My life has changed. Susie Q. Martin, you're the best. Look at that. Wow. Okay, I gotta go share this with my family and thank them so much for buying this for me. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay. Well, there you go. There is the Brothers Scan and Cut 2. This is just the, what is it, the CM350. This is exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm sure it can do a lot of other things, but this has completely changed my life. You saw that you can just take a drawing with a ballpoint pen and cut it. You can do outlines. You can layer the paper and put outlines. I mean, this is just unbelievable. There's another little heart. This is so flippin' cool. Anyway, all right, so there you go. There's a video on the Scan and Cut 2 straight out of the box. Um, this, the, oh, wow, I'm excited. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. All right, see ya.